Thanks, Richard. And, and uh, uh, over to Wenjing. So, I mean, particularly Wenjing, if you can focus, you know, why One Health is important from where you sit, and also why it is so difficult to implement, because the concept, as James outlined it, I mean, nobody would object to the concept of human health, animal health, environmental health working together. But we all know that the reality is much more difficult. And uh, uh, so, Wenjing? Yes, um, thanks very much, Malik, uh, for the introduction. And again, thanks also to the Academy for, for the invitation. Um, well, my understanding of One Health is very much like what uh, James and Richard said. But in my own words, it's, it's one system. It's a one whole system of human, animal, and environment. as like we're in the one, on the one globe. From my own experience, uh, being working in WHO since 2002, actually I've seen how the concept of One Health was born uh, in 2005, in 2006. So the driving force was really the enemy in front of H5N1. And let's take it one step back, why there's One Health initiative? Because there was a very clear need. There is a need there, so there is such a concept and now evolving. Uh, to nowadays. Well, from pandemic preparedness side, from influenza, we know that the role of animal reservoir is huge. So I think it's very straightforward that uh, the preparedness of pandemic, if we could start looking at, looking at one health, start looking at animal, not just focusing on the human side, we will be in a better situation or be prepared. Uh, Malik, you asked the question with regards to why it's so challenging, it's different or from other initiatives. I think we will have questions later on. But my taking is because they are from different sectors. There's public health sector, veterinary sector, and the environmental sector as well. So I think this would require more global coordination and understanding among each, each sector. So that adds a lot of challenges. With my role, uh, in a simple word, is that I'm working on human health side um, from WHO, the World Health Organization, collaborating with the veterinary side, FAO and OIE. I think in the future we would certainly need to come collaborate more from with the environmental world sector as well. I think we haven't done enough. So let me just stop here and back to you, Malik. Thank 